Welcome back to the channel. Hit the like and subscribe button and thank you for watching. So here we have the 2022 Model Y Performance. This one does include all the new features. So we have the Michelin tires. We have the lithium ion battery, the 12 volt. We have the heated windshield wipers, as you can see right there. And it also has the AMD Ryzen chipset. So today we're just gonna be covering the performance of the AMD Ryzen chipset compared to the Intel. I don't have an Intel chipset anymore on, uh, I had it on a previous model, but I can kind of discuss my previous experience and anybody that has an Intel, you guys can compare this to what you have. I am doing this on wireless connection and if you guys want to test it on LTE or just to test the LTE performance, let me know in the comments and we'll make a video about Wi-Fi, LTE or connecting it to a hotspot. Will you be getting any better performance out of your connectivity? So just looking at the settings and everything here, this is a 2022, was delivered on February 4th. It's a new build. This one does include the AMD chipset. And if you look at my previous videos, you can see all that information there. Now, when it comes to what the chipset will help with will be loading a lot of the content you can see that tesla has made changes to their launcher so how the apps actually open and even how they look potentially even opening up to having an app store which would be pretty cool being able to download maybe sounds some other games uh, toy box features arcade uh, extra theater features that they don't have to push out um, every year or every few months uh, having to do big updates but giving the people the option to download something um, just so let's go ahead and look at and see how the performance is let's start with just moving around and you guys let me know if you feel like it is snappier for you for me it definitely feels snappier compared to what I had previously on the Intel is some of these screens like here this feels snappier to me, but the other one was very fluid in even this experience. It was running the V10 instead of the V11 version, um, but it is fairly smooth and it's always been around the screen. Most of the times when you had an issue was when you started opening up the browser, the theater, and how you manage that. So let's go ahead and go into Netflix and see how it loads. I do have this connected to the Wi-Fi as mentioned just because I wanted it in a uh, standard connection where anybody can test. So scrolling, it's definitely faster. It's still not as smooth. I think that's just something that Tesla has to do UI improvements to make it a little bit smoother and they can do that. But from the Intel to the AMD, this is a better experience so far. So let's go ahead and just load a video real quick and see what happens. It loads fairly quickly. No buffering or uh, loading time there. So on my on the Intel experience, I've had it a few times and this could be because of the on the road network where it does take a little bit longer. So let's go ahead and test other things out. Let's close this off. Let's go to YouTube. And even YouTube is connecting fairly quickly. Let's see what we have. Navigation is much faster. It's loading fairly quick. The video starts playing right out right away. So no issues there. All right, so let's go ahead and close this out. Let's look at the arcade. So in the arcade itself, the graphic intense games will be uh, Polytopia, Sky Force, Fallout Shelter, and maybe Stardew Valley but definitely beach buggy those will require a little bit of loading but chess one if you click on chess it's right it's loaded right away we don't have any issues there this game really quickly 
loads really quick. Now let's go ahead and try Polytopia and expand that into full screen. New game. It's loading the world. So I would say that's definitely faster than on the Intel chip. Let's go ahead and close out of this and look at if you go to let's say Sudoku and you go back into Polytopia and let's test it out again. Let's try Beach Buggy. Just this experience so far, being able to transition, uh, doesn't take multiple clicks. It, it takes the input. It feels more responsive than the previous Intel chip. The reason why you would want an AMD chip going forward is because of all of these improvements that they're doing. So they are putting a little bit more pressure on the processing unit. If they're going to do all of that, an Intel chip will start falling behind and you can notice the lag in certain applications. It's unfortunate, but it's something that eventually will transition to the newer chips. And let's see. As for the graphics, um, I would have to compare an Intel and an AMD just to see if there's any graphics changes regarding the rendering. So if you have an Intel and you play it and you view this video and you notice a difference, let me know in the comments. And we can go down. Let's go back in here. Let's go into Toy Box Arcade. Let's launch chess again so chess is not graphics intense so if you load chess and you close out of it if you go back to uh, beach buggy it should maintain its connection to exactly where you had it loaded last so it does that with a few apps too many of them will eventually close it out and it'll be nice to find out exactly how much ram it's using but it's processing really well and there are there is enough RAM to at least hold two applications open not big applications but at least two applications now if you go to the browser let's go ahead and check here and I've had the, an issue with the browser and let me know also in the comments if you've had issues with the browser when it comes to sometimes when you click on an item and if it takes you out of there so let me demo it let's see if it does it now if I go to you click on YouTube so this is a better theater it'll take me out of the application and take me to YouTube if I close this it'll go back to browser but it won't load and then if I go back here and I do browser again it still ends up not loading what I found out I, you would need to do in this scenario if you have it is you would need to launch a different application let's see if this one works um, sometimes a game might be what you need to load okay so Spotify loading Spotify should clear out the memory I wish that we had some way of controlling how many applications we have open and to be able to manually close it just in case but maybe that's coming down the road Right, let's test out. Let's go to Tesla's website. And I've had issues where sometimes I would have to do it twice to get it to start moving, but that could be different things. And scrolling, moving around. I think it's again smoother experience so you should experience a smoother way of controlling the applications and moving around in the high intensity um, items so if you're looking at 
your browser, if you're looking at the games, if you're looking at uh, your uh, streaming services, the AMD will shine and it'll be better than your Intel counterpart. So if this matters to you, then hopefully you get an AMD chip in your Model Y or your Model 3 because it does make a difference. If you still have an Intel, hopefully some UI tweaks would help out with just making it better for the Intel counterpart. But even here, you have moments where it does hang. So transitioning here, you can see that it's, it's moving, it's fairly smooth, but there are some jittering. And I think that's just overall how it's developed because the AMD Ryzen chip can definitely hold it. Um, but I think it's the UI. Again, this is a car. It is a computer, computerized car. So this isn't supposed to do this the best. As long as it can provide you the information on what the vehicle is, it has, having all of this information, controlling the battery, the motors, that's the most important part. The infotainment system, browsing the web, and playing games and doing some fun stuff on the toy box that should be secondary again if you have an amd you should notice a big improvement if you've had an intel to your amd chip but if you're um, looking to purchase a car there are still some models that are shipping out with intel so if this is important to you either you would pass that VIN number up or you would just accept the delivery and knowing exactly where you would stand. So I hope this video helps out just to see exactly what your expectations can be going between the applications and how the AMD actually works. And if again, if you have an Intel chip, please compare it because to me this feels much smoother and but I don't have an Intel counterpart to test out with. So go ahead and put it in the comments and let me know exactly what you guys think. If you also see a big noticeable dis difference in this video on these applications, let me know. Thank you for watching. Hit the like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.